Welcome to this mini lecture, Introduction to Links. Uh, this mini lecture is intended to introduce you to the material in the course notes in definition 1.3 and example 1.4. Roughly speaking, what is a link? Well, a knot is some kind of circle embedded in three dimensions, and a link is several circles embedded in three dimensions. So it's possible first for those individual circles to be knotted up, and second, for uh, maybe there were two circles, it's possible for those two circles to be linked together somehow. Uh, so let's uh, talk about the definition of link. Uh, the bad news is that you need to remember what a knot is. Uh, so let's recall that a knot is a subset K inside R3 of the form something. Uh, and if you don't recall uh, what form a knot has to have, uh, please go back and have a look in uh, definition 1.1. Now, assuming we know what a knot is, what's a link? A link is a subset L inside uh, R3. Let's correct that. It's a subset L inside R3 of the form L is the union of C1 and C2 up to and including Cn, where C1 up to Cn are pairwise disjoint knots. Um, so this uh, pairwise disjoint condition means that if I take any two of these knots that make up the link, then their intersection is empty. They don't meet. And then these individual knots are called the components. So here's an example. It's called the trivial link of two components. Is this really a link? Well, yes. This is a knot. It's a copy of the unknot inside R3. Let's call it C1. This is a knot. It's another unknot. It also lives inside R3. We call it C2. So L is the union of C1 and C2. C1 and C2 are knots, and they are pairwise disjoint. Their intersection is empty. So this is indeed a link. Here's a more complicated example, not terribly complicated, it's called the hop flink. It consists of two loops, uh, each one passing through the other exactly once. Hop link. The next one's a little bit more complicated, it's called the whitehead link. draw it this way. Uh, the next one's even more complicated. It's called the Borromean rings. Uh, it's a common image to find uh, on uh, things like flags and in decorations all through the ages. And I need to redraw this one. Whoops. Here we go. Okay. That's the Borromean rings. Uh, the Borromean rings has the cool feature um, that uh, if you imagine that these were physical rings, then you couldn't separate the three. However, if you deleted just one of them, then you could separate the other two from each other. And here's one more link. Uh, it's called L6A2. Um, I learned to draw it only recently. And let's see if I can reproduce it now.
There we are. L6. A. 2. And uh, this 6 here refers to the number of crossings inside the link. Now, how many components do these links have? Uh, well, let's look at the whitehead link, just as an example. It's got two components. Here's one of them. Here's the other. And uh, I recommend that you uh, take a look at the other links in the image and uh, see if you can work out how many components each one has. So that was our introduction to links.